Hi, what's up everyone? Today we're going to talk about how to free up the storage space on your iPhone and iPad. Let's get started. A pair of jeans and shirt or two We didn't pack as if we weren't and going back It doesn't matter if it's true I've got a feeling love will give us what we like before we get started, this video is meant for you to know how to free up the space of your device. But make sure you have a backup of the things that you are going to remove from your device because we're not responsible for any data lost. Think twice or three, four times before you delete anything. Everything I'm going to talk about applies to iOS 13 or above or iPad OS. If you're not sure if your device is running those software, go to settings, general, software update, and check the OS version. The first thing you want to know is what is taking up the storage space of your device. The best place to go is to go into settings, general, iPhone storage or iPad storage depends on what device you have. Then you'll have a storage bar at the top of the screen showing you how much space you have left. Then you'll see a couple of suggestions depend on your settings. Yours might look different from mine. If you go down to the list of apps at the bottom, it will show you which app is taking up the most space of your device from the most to the least. You can tap into the app and it will show you how big the app is and how much data is within the app. You have two options here. The first one is to offload the app, which will give you back the app size storage space, but the documents and data will stay on your device. When you reinstall the same app, the documents and data will go back into that app. The second option, which you have to be careful here, it is to completely remove the app and its documents and data. After deleting the app this way, you will not be able to get the information within the app back even after you have reinstalled the app. So this option will give you the most storage space back, but be very careful. There's one place I want you to check out here. There's an item called on my iPad or on my iPhone. If you tap onto it, it will show you all the big files that is taking up the space of your device in the files app. Some apps do open a document folder in the files app of your device and start saving documents in the background just for it to work. If you see any files here that you don't think you need on the device, you can delete them here by tapping onto edit and delete. Again, think before you delete anything. One safety feature here is when you delete any files under on my iPad or on my iPhone item, you will be able to recover these deleted files within 30 days by opening up the files app. Tap on recently deleted, select the files you want to recover, tap on recover and the file should be put back into its original places under normal circumstances. Also, when you're in the recently deleted folder, you can decide to permanently delete those files to free up the storage space immediately. But after that, those files are gone. And again, please think before you delete your files and we're not responsible for any data lost. That's how I usually clean up my devices and free up storage space. There's another option to use iCloud Photo Library to store your photos and videos on iCloud and optimize your device storage. Yes, you can save some space by selecting that option, but you will need internet access to view your photos and videos every time. So I don't usually do that, but the option is there. If you like this video, share it with your friends and family to help this channel grow. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. They'll be my treasures forever When I can't hold you tight I'll see the star come